beginning tells your story. When I officially became a pussycat doll, I was 18, and this went on until I was 20. It was a, yay, I got the job, but only for a second. You're now part of a grooming process that curates young minds. Comes a promise, and every heartbeat testifies. When I compared it to a prostitution ring, I compared it that way because we were performing at Divas Live. I had gone through a forced abortion. So if you get pregnant, you're fired. I had had this abortion. Complications were in the abortion. I was actually hemorrhaging during that time. I'm being told by the owner of how fat I look in process of losing my child. There's these two little girls in the front row and the baby one looks at her mom and she goes, oh, mommy, she's a pussycat doll. And I just felt gutted. This little girl wants to be me or has this idea of beauty in this moment and I am so broken. That was the beginning of, I gotta get out of here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but God, you gotta help me do it. Because yeah. I can't sell this to kids, I can't do this. I can't let that little girl think that this is beautiful, because this is not beautiful. To prophesy and speak life. I know young women today have this idea that's so false. The only way you get through it is if you give it to God. And he wants to make the broken pieces right. So whether it's addiction or it's pornography or it's abortion or abuse, whatever it is, we all have a story, right? Um, we hand it to him and say, you, you do what only you can do. There is a God and, and he created us and we have a purpose and you're not just a clump of cells, you're not just whatever, you have a divine purpose in Jesus, and if you know who he is, he will activate who you are in him. If you want to say I 